By now you have looked at all of the work, the homework, the many lessons, and so forth, and are probably thinking, if I could work this hard, I could just quit on my own. Well, for one thing, that's not true. And two, it's a lie from the enemy because he knows this program works. He just wants you to quit. We've had numerous students tell us that they have tried virtually every other program out there and nothing worked until they did Restoring God's Foundation. I will tell you that of all the participants that we've had direct contact with, those that actually do the work are nearly 100% successful for long-term sobriety. That's because Restoring God's Foundation goes way beyond offering some strategies or tactics and just some basic understanding of addiction. Restoring God's Foundation has all of this, much more in depth, and we go way beyond this as well. We actually lead you through finding and healing the root of the behavior and give you easy to follow rituals to use and work through the underlying issues that we help you to discover. We essentially guide you to help heal the woundedness that is the reason you seek porn in the first place. You see, the desire for porn is a multifaceted disorder, and all of these facets must be addressed for true, lasting freedom. Let me briefly share with you our philosophy and the major components of a lasting recovery and how all of these are introduced and covered in the Restoring God's Foundation. For this process, we must address four major areas of the addiction. There's behavioral, chemical, emotional, and spiritual. First, we'll talk about behavioral. These are the behaviors or even rituals that you engage in. Things like looking at emails after everyone has gone to bed, taking your electronic device in the bathroom, making excuses to stay home alone, maybe even playing sick or miss, to miss your kids' soccer games or school events so that you can stay home and look at porn. It could be aimlessly surfing YouTube and following the suggested videos that often lead you to sexually suggestive material, even though you may not actually think that they're porn, or that's what you tell yourself. And if you're like I was, and you're into massage parlors or prostitution, it's then browsing the ads on certain sites, kind of thinking, if I were to go see someone, who would I choose? Just looking at the profiles and so forth. And then telling yourself, I'm not really going to do this, but I'm just looking. But then you actually do. Or if you drive by and see a new massage parlor, you know, in the neighborhood or on the block and wonder if they offer full, offer full service. Ah, I just wonder. But then at, after time after time, you eventually stop in. In the program, we talk about these as secondary and primary boundaries. Lesson four talks about those in detail. Restoring God's Foundation helps dig out these behaviors, reveal why they are a problem, and guide you to set boundaries for them. I will tell you that just a small portion of the tactics are filters on devices or blocking certain TV show ratings, changing computer use habits, etc. There's so much more that needs to be done. This is just scratching the surface. So the next uh, component is chemical. Part of addressing the chemical part is the uh, where the addiction includes the brain chemistry and how it's impacted by pornography. But also we address the um, physiological and destructive impact on the body. We do this by education, then by incorporating behavioral changes and new habits. In the program, we discuss the natural part of sex and how the brain chemistry works. Then show that it, the natural process is designed by God when it's abused and perverted, how the chemical and neurological design wreaks havoc with the body and our brain and resulting dysfunctions like depression, erectile dysfunction, and several behavioral changes result as well. We reveal how the chemical component or porn use ultimately results in a physical manifestation. You know, we demonstrate this by helping you becoming aware and recognizing effects of your porn use. You may see some of these effects yourself, such as depression, anxiety, reduced uh, an ability to focus, uh, maybe a recent and growing disinterest in family activities, or a disinterest in doing anything other than looking at porn. Even erectile dysfunction is a growing issue. Porn-induced erectile dysfunction is a situation where you have trained your brain to want the physical stimulation of masturbation rather than a woman's vagina. Imagine that. This is true. Also, studies show that the porn 
with porn, average time spent on a scene is about 18 seconds. So brain-wise, when you get with a woman, after 18 seconds, your brain goes, okay, that's nice, what's next? And then often a short time later, you lose the erection, and you don't understand why. Now, this 18-second mental focus training of the brain also greatly contributes to ADHD symptoms, especially among young people. But as an adult, many may notice a growing difficulty in being able to focus at work. The time in sobriety will automatically allow the brain to repair itself and fix some of this. Also, the sobriety time will impact the chemical causes uh, and much of the physical effects. This change in the brain and self-focusing activity of pornography psychologically trains us to be very self-centered and narcissistic as well. Much of the work we ask you to do, the homework activities, etc., helps counteract a self-centered narcissistic tendency and helps facilitate creating a series of new neural pathways that counteract impulsive behavior choices and also provides answers and behavior changes to the emotional triggers that often lead to porn. Now, this leads to a very important part of our program, which is the emotional factor. All of us, without exception, are emotionally wounded in some way. We're all broken. In Restoring God's Foundation, we discover how many of these wounds contribute to our personality and our behavior patterns, and most of all, our beliefs about ourselves. We dig into the roots of these beliefs, which are more often than not lies about how we see ourselves. These lies are exposed, dismantled, healed, and replaced with truths of how we are created by God. This part of the program is very in-depth and a critical component that other programs either do not address at all or do not address in the depth that we do in Restoring God's Foundation. This is where the real and authentic change occurs and where the lasting sobriety will come from. This is also why it is over half of the program. Also features of this are threaded throughout the program to help facilitate this because it is so critical and important in your healing. Now the last component is spiritual uh, component. This possibly is the most important piece. Porn is at its root a spiritual disorder. Restoring God's Foundation reveals the role of God and spirituality in our lives and recovery. Prayer and reorientation to a God-centered life is threaded in the daily exercise that everyone does and is part of the reordering process in our self-identities and the root of how we rewire the neural pathways. Now, the sacraments of the Catholic Church are also presented in several lessons and threaded throughout, as well as, as discussion of authentic sexuality that includes a brief introduction to some theology of the body concepts. For many of us Catholics, we often skip the impact of our Blessed Mother in our lives and even recovery. In Restoring God's Foundation, we also bring Mary and her involvement into our faith, sexuality, and our recovery. Now let's take a brief look at some of the homework. See how this fits into these components. Now while each of these lessons that we go through the program will explain the content and how each lesson may work within each of these components. One factor is the homework, primarily the daily inventory tracker. A huge part of this recovery is becoming self-aware. The tracker facilitates this by not only helping us become more aware of our actual behaviors, but guides us in changing those behaviors. We as humans often gloss over or you can easily be blind to how many negative behaviors are present in our lives. But we are very easily blinded to how much as a behavior is infiltrated in our daily lives. This temptation level and boundaries help to actually see how much porn is really present in our lives. This is the beginning of growing self-aware. The gift of daily, gift of self daily action actually aids in the beginning of steps of rewiring the neural pathways as well. In scripture it says a kingdom divided cannot stand. As a result we cannot give and take at the same time. Porn is the taking for self. It's a self-centered act. If we practice a gift of self routinely we begin to get outside of ourselves. This of course is far from the cure but it is a required component of being the person that God designed us to be. 
The goal of a behavior or giving of ourselves is loving others as a natural instinct. Now, the meditation and reading scripture brings in a spirituality component that most people, especially addicts, don't take part in, or at least we don't do it on a regular basis. So often, feeling unworthy because of our behavior, that we don't feel like praying that God won't listen to us, or such we're such sinners that we see ourselves as unworthy as God, uh, and, and God must see us that way too. Therefore, we think it's a waste of time. This is precisely the opposite of the truth. Jesus came for the sinners and the sick, not the healthy or the already faithful. He's there for them too, but the sick is his primary purpose, is, is who he is here to help, and this is us. We are the ones he wants to hear from, the ones he wants to turn to him for help. The lies from Satan make us feel the opposite, and his goal is to keep us away from God because he doesn't want us to have the relationship with Christ by healing. The surrender prayer in the daily actions is a cumulative prayer of this fact. It is an exercise to see our weaknesses and our self-centeredness and guides us to open a crack and beg Jesus to come and heal us. Now this is probably the most important prayer that you will do every day. And I will say, even if you don't do the rest of the homework, at least do this several times a day if possible. Some people even copy and paste this prayer as a text and, and kind of put it in their phone and set it up as a daily reminder. Now the seven cornerstones in the daily program uh, is a way of training your mind to have a different outlook and commitment. The sponsor contact of our, of our daily activity is also a critical part of recovery. Guys, we can't do this alone. Satan wants to keep us in darkness where he has the power. The communication with another person breaks that power and bondage. Lesson five goes much more in detail into this topic. I realize that finding a partner is one of the most difficult aspects for many people. For this reason, Road to, Road to Purity is in the process of developing an accountability community just for this purpose. This is to give people a place to find a partner or a sponsor, and if desired, still maintain anonymity, because we know so many people don't want to be known. At the time of this video we recorded, uh, the community was under development, but we will let you know through emails and communications uh, when this is available, if it's not been already by the time you see this. The rest of the homework is designed to further foster looking inside yourself and being honest about your feelings and how they are impacting your life and behaviors. Later in the program, being aware of these feelings that stir inside and being overall self-aware is critical in developing new habits and healing the roots of our behaviors. The later lessons use this information that we have discovered in being self-aware and how to implement that in our daily activities and awareness. Taking part in this homework will go a long way in helping you be ready when you do get to that part of the program. So you see, Restoring God's Foundation weaves in all the components needed for lasting recovery and weaves in the practices and changing the way you think and result in re rewiring the neural pathways to foster a positive change in behavior as well as your inner self. This is precisely why so many of our students say that they started the program to get control over the porn habit but they find that it actually changed in a very positive way who they saw themselves to be and their overall behaviors in general. The porn desire went away as a side effect for the most of these guys. This proves the fact that porn is not the problem but a symptom of a deeper problem. Now that you have some behind the scenes philosophy and the workings of the program, I hope your success will be even greater. God bless you in your journey.